I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you're new to this version, there is a link in the video description below to the rules and a demonstration. This is the two-player version where each player plays two hands at once. It's become so popular that there are tournaments now. At tournaments, they have prizes. Usually the first hand in each category on the card will win a prize. So I like to practice by forcing hands in pre-selected categories. This is also a really great way to push yourself to play a hand that you might not normally consider. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. These are the categories that we're going to force. 369 quints, singles and pairs, biggies, odds, wins and dragons, and addition. We're going to roll these dice to determine which player we are. Odd will be player one, even will be player two. For the first one, I rolled a five, so we're going to be player one. I'll get 28 tiles. Here's what we have to work with. Joker, three flowers, a red dragon. We have news, complete block of singles. We have cracks with a pair of twos and sevens. One, two, seven, nine. For dots, we have a pair of fours, six, seven, eight, nine. Then for bams, we have one, three, four, seven, eight, nine, pair of sevens. If these were your tiles, which category would you force for your two hands? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would force a pair hand and three, six, nine. news with sevens and three six nine with flowers This is how I would do it. News with sevens pair hand. This is where we would need to focus. Let the hoarding begin. Down here, three, six, flower, six, nine. But I would hold the nine. This one too. Upside down for plan B. Any three, six, nine tile I would keep for options and stay concealed for as long as possible to give myself flexibility because it's very light singles with three, six, nine, but we do have each tile represented. We could maybe even play, let's see, three, six, nine mix suit Kongs, but these, we have only singles. I think we could leverage these flowers. Three, six, flower, six, nine. The silver lining is that we have joker bait. 
six discards. I think that is hopeful. Singles and pairs and three, six, nine. If you want to know about joker bait, there are videos that I've made that demonstrate the concept. This is a term coined by Tom Sloper at Sloperama. And basically you hold on to tiles that you may not need. Later in the game, you discard one, your opponent makes an exposure with a joker and use the other one to make an exchange. So you've got to really watch the timing of the game because you don't want to hold on to these for too long. Try to get rid of them by the end of the third wall. Otherwise you could be sitting with risky tiles. I would discard these first. I rolled an 11. So we are going to be player one. Player one, I will get 28 tiles. Look at these cracks. Wow. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pair of twos, pair of fives. We have new, short a tile for news. We have two dragons, white and red, and a couple jokers. Then for bams, we have two, three, five, seven, eight, nine. Pairs of threes and sevens. And then we have single dots, two, four, six. If these were your tiles and you were to force these categories, which would you force and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would try for news year hand under winds and dragons and odds. Big odds. Okay. I think this is how I would try it. We don't really need these. I would hold them though, because we could maybe use the two cracks as joker bait. The challenge is we have a nine here and a two here. So maybe get rid of this. Hold those. All right, so this is how I would do it. Cord north and south, north and south with the year for winds and dragons. This would be the second hand down and it's bleak. Down here, we actually have a hand, five, seven, seven, nine. Second hand down on the right under odds. Use this as joker bait, most likely up here. Even hold this for potential joker bait if we can get the one in nine dot. So I would hold this as an option to free up joker bait for either hand, because we need north and south. The nice thing is, is we have our singles done. And we have no gaps. We have a gap here of no south, but we can use jokers. I would discard these and gather. 
hold this for joker bait. By the end of the third wall, let them go. So I would do Winds and Dragons. and odd. Now we have to make quince and addition work. I rolled a six. That means we're going to be player two. Okay, here we go. We got to make a quint and addition work. We have a couple of jokers, three flowers, both good for quints and addition. We have a south and a pair of dragons, red dragons. Then we have three, four, five multiples, pair, pair, pung. Down here we have two, four, five, six, eight, nine, pairs of fours and nines in dots. For bams, two, three, seven, eight, pairs with two, seven, and eight. Let's start with addition. I actually think addition is harder than quint sometimes because of the flowers. So we want to use fives with flowers. So we're going to pull these off. Flowers and fives. Actually, this is a quint in the making right there. Three, four, five dragon. I think I would use those fives there and work on addition down here. Five, seven, 12. No. Nope. We need a two crack, not a two dot. 5, 8, 13. I would just hold them. Here's an 8. We need 2 crack. Or 3 crack. So I think what I would do... This is how I would do it. I would go for the quint. We could quint the five or the three. We've got our pairs right here. This would be the dragon quint. Third hand down, three consecutive numbers. Three, four, five, matching dragon. We've got the flowers. All we need are fives and the right ones and really the product because we have five, eight, but we need 13 in cracks. We have five, seven, but need 12 in cracks. I would still hold the one, three, and one, two in these other suits just to see what comes in. I would hold these for joker bait and discard those first. This could be a winner. Not sure about this one down here. That's going to take work. We need more fives and we need the right sum number. You know, eight plus five is 12 mixed suits. So we would need eight plus five is 13. 
than 5, 7, 12. So we need cracks with either 12 or 13 for mixed suits. Now, if we get a 5 BAM, then that'll help things a lot because then we could do 8, 5, 13 in one suit at, or 7, 5, 12 in one suit. Probably this could be discarded. If we get a three dot, we could maybe make that work, but I would want to leverage one of these multiples. So I'd say probably these should go away actually. So these would be discards, I think. This is probably more realistic. 8513 in one suit, 7512 in one suit, or mixed suits if we get the right cracks. Now, here's the challenge up here. We got to quint the three. So I don't know if this one is going to work. I would say probably 7512 in mixed suits or one suit because of the three being used up here. You want to try to not have tiles shared, especially if they're singles and you're playing a quint where you got to hog the tiles. This will take work. Quints and addition. When you play Siamese Mahjong, you get 27 or 28 tiles, respectively. A lot of times you can actually pick hands right away, but sometimes you've got to work for them, especially when you're forcing hands. We probably could have made other hands work, but we're trying to force the tiles into a pre-selected category, and sometimes that takes work. It's a great exercise if you have a set of tiles at home. Give it a try and let me know if you play something you might not normally play. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Force for American Mahjong, Using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.